Hi, you guys, and welcome to the first show of 2024. I'm so glad to be joining you again. For now, we're rolling into the seventh year producing the Sweet Life Entrepreneur and Business Podcast. Thank you guys so much for being listeners over time and sharing this show with your friends. If this is your first time being here in the show, I'm April Beach. I help subject matter experts, coaches, and consultants build million-dollar offer ecosystems and scale your business through content licensing and everything that we deliver for you here on this show are proven trainings and strategies that you can literally take to the take to the bank as a matter of fact our slogan, our tagline is delivering you proven trainings and strategies that other coaches will charge you thousands for. And I have been consulting coaches and consultants for 27 years with an expertise in online business for 17. So you are really in the right place. Every single thing that we talk about and deliver to you, you can immediately apply in your business and will be very valuable to you. In this particular episode, in kicking off 2024, I was really thinking about the most important things that I want you guys to be focusing on. And in order to do this, I have been focusing on paying attention to the trends in our space. You have seen them. I know you're paying attention. You've seen leaders and gurus and coaches starting to kind of fall to the side. Some of them are just completely overloaded, overwhelmed, and exhausted because they built the wrong kind of business for sustainability. Some of them are tired of having to show up on social media all the time, and others just don't have anything else to sell. They may not have knowledge outside of the one area that they gained notoriety for. And so this is a very special time for you. If you are an established subject matter expert, coach, or a consultant, and we're talking about what's going to happen in 2024, now has never been a better time for you to hone in on these key areas that we're going to talk about in our business, because now is your time. You don't have to have thousands of social media followers. You don't have to be a keynote speaker in front of thousands of people. You don't even have to have a best-selling book. You just have to be great at what you do, dedicated to your area of expertise and the clients that you serve, and we can scale your business past seven figures. So if you are feeling like you've been in this place where you're just hustling and hustling and you're never going to get noticed, frankly, many of you guys have been doing what you've been doing for a really, really long time, and you're not out there telling everybody about how great you are because you're in the trenches with your clients delivering amazing results. 2024 is your year. And that's what we're talking about right now in this podcast, four key areas where you can scale your business with less work. Here's the deal. The theme of this year is more results, less time, significant impact, less work. We are talking about more for less. And I want that for you. And so that's what we're digging in here uh, on this show. This is episode number 313 all of the show notes, everything that we talk about here and reference and links and resources and downloads and all the goodies can be found by visiting sweetlifeco.com. Just click on the podcast and this is episode number 313. And a very quick and very important announcement to you. If it's time for you to upgrade your offer, increase your prices and take your offers to a scalable level, create content, create your million dollar offer ecosystem, then we are opening up Offer Engineer, which is our leading masterclass that has taught experts to build scalable offer ecosystems and content licensing programs for over eight years. This program is really amazing where I get to work with you personally. So if it's time for you to dive in and actually upgrade your offer, go to theofferengineer.com because we're going to be doing that live online virtually in January. And I don't want you to miss it. Again, that is theofferengineer.com. Go grab your seat in that right now. And let's go ahead and set this episode to dive in more. All right, so we're talking about these four areas, these four amazing opportunities for you to upgrade in your business, things that I really want you thinking about. And I want to unpack some trends and give you an opportunity to think about how you can change or update things. I don't want to give you a massive amount of work, but as we're in the beginning of 2024, I see these as four very important areas that not everybody's talking about, but I want you to be the tip of that sword. I want you to know what's going on. And so that's why I picked these four areas as a trend to lean into for 2024. So 
the first area that you need to nail to scale in 2024 will be your offers, your programs, your services. We don't actually hear a lot of people talking about actual offer engineering. They just kind of come up with a price and they say, oh, okay, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And this is just what it is. And there's so much emphasis on marketing. Have you seen that also? There really is not enough emphasis on the product itself. And I think there's some confusion in a service-based industry space, realizing that maybe marketing is more important than the actual product itself. But here's a little insight. My husband and I own multiple companies and one of the companies he own is, owns is a physical product company. So I have seen what it takes to build a business around a physical product and the difference in the emphasis on the actual excellence of the product is what makes the difference, the first difference. But in the online coaching and consulting space, we tend to lean into the marketing, the marketing, the marketing, and then the products are kind of shitty sometimes. I mean, let's be honest, right? So the reality is, is you've probably been in many of these programs that have this awesome shiny funnel and you're diving in there and they give all the bells and whistles and they say all the right things for you to invest your money. And then you get in there and you really didn't get what you thought that you were going to get because the person that sold it to you was a great marketer, but maybe not so great at actually creating an offer that's going to give you substantial, substantial, tangible results that you're looking for. Frankly, maybe they weren't even an expert in that part. Maybe they were an expert marketer. And so as we're looking at your business, I want to just reset what we're talking about here as business owners. Your knowledge, what you teach or the service you provide, what you do, the programs that you deliver, they are your product and they come first and without leading products that deliver amazing, massive, predictable results, nothing else that we talk about is going to matter. So let's just lay the prerequisite and the ground rule here. Your offer has to be absolutely a leading offer in your space that provides amazing results. So number one key area is that offer engineer, engineering. And here are some of the trends I want you to see that have been happening. Well, really it's been about the last four years. We've really seen these trends because I literally have been coaching experts to build their offers for so long, you guys, actually since pre 2000, I've been, I've been helping people like you do this. And so what we're seeing is that these big programs, these huge programs were the ones that were amazing and everybody was attracted to them. But here's a trend that I want you to be aware of. For the last four years, the smaller programs, the boutique programs, the programs that serve less people or that only serve one company at a time or that are really super niche. Those are the programs that are selling. Those are the programs that people are looking for and gravitating to. So I want you to see these trends. And if that's the kind of program you've had already, amazing. What can we do to upgrade that? How can we scale the actual program itself to scale your time that you are reducing your time, especially if you've been delivering one-on-one -on -one coaching services and that you can provide efficient results for your clients while providing top-notch industry leading results to them as well. And so what the trend that or the term that this is is called a blue ocean strategy. I talk about blue ocean all the time. There's a blue ocean strategy book. If you haven't read it, it's really, really valuable. I will actually go ahead and put a link to that book in the show notes so that you guys can understand this concept. But we need to move you out of what's considered a red ocean where all these other people are fighting for the same audience. And we need by creating a disruptive, thoughtful, efficient, offer, we can move you into a blue ocean where you have no competition. So the trends I want you to be aware of are these huge programs are really, in my opinion, going to the wayside. People do not love being in part of a cattle drive. It's like cheers. Everybody, you know, we want people to know our name. And so being in big programs without any personalized curation is there. We're having industries are having trouble selling those type of programs. So look at your programs, think about your programs and think about what you have and how niche is it? Do you provide specific measurable results? And then the third thing I want you to be aware of is you probably need to increase your prices in 2024 with inflation, with how much it's costing you to actually run your business 
and pay yourself, pay your team. And the way that I will be sharing with you here and that we coach our clients is I need you to increase your prices so we can increase your operational expenses so we can increase your ability to scale and get more help. And so if you need to increase your prices, we always want to do this in an ethical way. We never just say, hey, this was this cost and now it's going to be that cost. So make sure that you're increasing your prices in, in an ethical way and take a look at your offers. So the questions for you, are they niche? Are they, are they niche? Are they specific? Are they disruptive? Am I doing something in a way that nobody else in my space is doing this? Do I have a method or a framework that I'm teaching people to get better results than other people in my space? That's what we need your offers to do. So area number one that you need to nail to scale in 2024 is not only one offer, but your ecosystems of, of offers to make sure that they are predictable, tangible, delivering amazing results, and they're scalable for you and efficient to run. Again, you can go into theofferengineer.com because that's everything that we're working on here in January with our clients and our podcast listeners and all of our friends live. You can dive into that masterclass with me. Make sure you don't miss that if you need this. So area number two are relationships. So let me talk about the trend that I am seeing. It's no longer as important to know everybody in your space. I don't actually know if it really was. I don't know everybody in my space. I've been here for a really long time. But what I want you to understand is connecting and building relationships with the right people in the right businesses are what is going to be the one driver to really bring in profit for your business this year. It's not ad spend anymore like it was 10, eight years ago, seven years ago, right? They're relationships. Relationships scale, relationships sell. But I know that there are problems running into spending time and investing in relationships. Talk about what type of relationships I want you to focus on this year. I want you to focus on relationships with other experts that serve your same audience, but they may do a different thing. So building relationships with colleagues and mutual circles of trust. Think Robert De Niro and meet the parents, right? So you want to build circles of trust with other experts. These circles don't have to be huge. They can be three, five, six, seven people at the most that meet your clients. And my recommendation this year is to make time for these relationships. Do things with them. Go on retreats just with this other group of people have an opportunity to create a mastermind that is not a paid mastermind. It's all of you just showing up to a hotel, paying your own way and pouring into each other for three days. These are the things that are going to build your business and scale. And I want you to think about who these people could be in your space. Mixing with relationships is you need to make time to build new ones. If you don't have enough relationships in your space that you think could be valuable, and of course that you could lend value to, one of the things that I do is I have what's called a coffee calendar. And you know, when you get these LinkedIn messages, hey, would you like to you know connect and, and just get to know each other? First of all, I'm just gonna be really honest. I will never give my time to somebody because time, my time is more valuable to me than money unless I have already connected with that person in the public feed somewhere. So by the way, if you're listening to this and you're one of those cold people that sends DMs saying, hey, do you want to jump on the call? If you ever send that to me, the answer is immediately going to be no. And you know, you're wasting my time because you haven't ever tried to connect with the content that I have put out on the public feed. <laughs> but for those people that I really do want to connect with, I have this coffee calendar and it's set up in my acuity calendar scheduler. And it's not about, it's not a sales pitch. It's literally just a connection time. And I have connection times. Sometimes I have them only one day a month. You guys, let's be real. My time is very limited or I have them at one time every single Wednesday afternoon. It's the one time I know that I can block out. And as soon as those coffee calendar connections are full, I don't book anymore. I don't spend any time wondering, hey, when can I fit this networking thing in you know, my calendar to meet with this person? I always have this available and open it, but I only share it with people that I believe that I can lend value to and people that could be valuable to me in my business as well. So if you have the ability to create a separate calendar that's not going to mess up any of your other work time, do it. Call it a coffee calendar or a networking calendar or just 
meet and greet or whatever and have virtual coffee with people, it will make all the difference in the world in your business. And I want you to think about honing in on specific people in specific groups that will make the greatest impact for your time. Remember, these relationships are going to be very powerful because these people are going to send you business, you're going to send these people business, and you're going to create that circle of trust. So I believe in 2024 that these relationships will be even more valuable to you than creating content in a marketing process. Okay. So if you don't yet have that sort of coffee calendar or designated time to network with people and get to know other people, I highly recommend you do that. Okay. Area number four is marketing. Of course it's marketing. Yes, we have to market your business, but let's talk about the trends again that we are seeing here. So if you have been on Facebook for decades and Instagram for decades, and then you tried threads, the trends that we are seeing, we've been seeing is that businesses that sell to other businesses are hanging out on LinkedIn, number one. And the great thing about LinkedIn is you do not have to create a massive amount of content. You just have to build relationships and share valuable information and give feedback to others that share valuable information. And so in the marketing process, make sure that you're not just creating content to create content. That might not be for you. I'm not sitting here talking to you. I don't know your business because this is unfortunately a one-sided conversation right here on the podcast. So LinkedIn may not be the place for you, but I'm just saying, I want you to be aware that creating videos and spending thousands of hours on you know, um, Instagram or even TikTok has it like look at the measurable measurable results has it given you the traction that you've needed if it hasn't it's okay to walk away from things instead of just doing things because you've been doing them for the last five years and you think you need to again less is more understand where the actual traction is happening for your business and just focus in on that the other thing that is really important, which is not a news flash, but I really want you to make sure that you are normalizing AI in your processes of creating content. So one thing to look at and just ask yourself and our, our little check and balance here, do you have SOPs for using AI within your business on a regular basis for creating your marketing content? If you don't, it's very, very important. And a few other keys are understanding your primary message on a monthly basis. What do I mean by that? This is especially important for those of you guys who have a B2C side of your business, and you may also be moving into a B2B. So if you've had courses, trainings, masterminds, VIP days, whatever that is. And you're also looking into content licensing. Maybe you want, maybe you're here and you're connecting with us because you also want to know after we build those programs with you, how to actually license them to other companies, right? So your message is going to be different and you need to make sure you're honing in. What am I saying to a B2C audience and what am I saying to a B2B audience and just make sure if you're foggy on your marketing, if you do not have a marketing team that's working for you and creating content, number one thing to start with, and just doing this one thing will be a massive game changer, is understanding what your primary message is to each one of those audiences on a monthly basis. In January, what is the most important thing you want your audience to know about you? In February, are you selling something? In March, what is that most important thing? Just make sure you've broken it down month by month, especially if you have two audiences and it's very, very clear. So area number three to nail and scale, and those are some tips is marketing, use AI, but make sure of course it's absolutely unique to you in your voice and never put AI into your, never put your IP into your, um, chat GPT. Okay. So anything that is proprietary, never put it into chat GPT. And then the third area, the fourth area I want you to focus in on for 2024 are your teams. It's time for you to get the right person in place. If you don't have this already, that's going to help you scale. If you can find one person you can trust, one primary person and be able to have them delegate so that you can focus on your areas of genius. 2024 is the year to do that. In, in order to do that, you need to understand what your top priorities are and you need to be able to put a budget behind this. 
So let's talk about some of these areas and, and based on how much you're making. If you are making up to 15K a month, you do need team members. You may get specific niche team members to do specific things. So one person might do your video editing. One person might do your copy editing. You know, one person might post on social media. One person might be your client concierge. That's totally fine. Up to 15K a month, it's fine to have these teeny tiny little specific amazing people that do little teeny bits of work for you. When we get to around 20 to 30K, you're going to need more operational help. So that is orchestrating all of those people that are doing all the little pieces. And so around 20K a month, if you don't have a primary, it, it could be an online business manager. However, be really careful with that because the term online business manager and those certifications often mean that they are not operationally excellent. They just know a software. Be careful for that. I'm talking about somebody that can step into an operations management, see all the moving parts and actually orchestrate all those little team members underneath. That's going to be around 20. And honestly, when we get to 30 to 40 K a month, these operational uh, bottlenecks are what scale or what stops businesses ever from getting beyond 40 K a month, because our brains as CEOs don't really think like that in most cases operationally. So we need this key person to help see all the moving parts, bring it together to bring you past 40 K a month. And statistics show that it 50 K a month is when you actually can afford uh, a, to hire somebody else to be more in a COO position for you. So based on where you are, if you're up to 15K, you need to be able to delegate. If you're 20 to 30K, we need somebody to be able to oversee all those little, little delegations. So now we have at least two people on your team. If you're, if you're getting stuck in that bottleneck, then you need to increase your team members. And remember what I said is we need to put a budget behind these team members. And if you're at 50K, that's usually around the time when you can really start affording somebody to come in full time into your business while still paying yourself. So these are the four key areas and the trends that we're seeing that I worry if you don't nail these areas, it's really going to severely affect you in 2024. And so that's why I picked these key areas. And again, they're not things necessarily that everybody's talking about, but I know they will just be a game changer for your business. So the first area, again, is upgrading your offer so you can charge more, scale them, be more efficient. Doesn't mean serving more people. It could mean a collection of offers that collectively equal over a million dollars in sales, but they're all very curated and they all take clients through a predictable journey. Again, if that's what you need, cruise over to theofferengineer.com. This, this masterclass is not for building new offers for new coaches. This masterclass is only for established coaches, consultants, and subject matter experts that are ready to upgrade your offers and scale more. I want to make sure that I'm differentiating that. If you are a brand new coach or a consultant, you are not ready for that masterclass. Okay. And that's at theofferengineer.com. Second way is scaling your relationships, really diving into those relationships, making them a priority, creating a collection of people that you can rely on that are your peers without paying 10, 20, 50, $100,000 a year for a mastermind and just leaning into building these relationships, maybe investing in a little trip or a virtual mastermind with this group of people and really pouring into them. This is going to be a game changer for you and your business if you make this a priority and set aside the time in 2024. The third thing is your marketing process. Really important. We need to streamline your marketing process using AI and if you have a B2C side of your business and a B2B side of your business, make sure you know who you're communicating with and where and on what platforms and what your signature talks are and what your services are to each one of the areas. And again, moving on beyond that is your teams. Make sure that you have the right people in the right place doing the right things. And then we broke down the numbers of what those financial thresholds are that are typical of what you can afford based on your business.
And these are the key areas that I really want you focusing on because when you focus on these and when you nail these in 2024, it's going to make a significant difference in your business. And I want that difference. I actually want to hear from you about which ones of these that you're going to lean into first. Please connect with me on LinkedIn at April Beach and let me know that you listen to this show. Let me know which of these four areas that you're going to dive into first. And I want to end this episode by saying that I don't want this to be overwhelming. Again, we're talking about doing more, getting bigger results with doing less. So getting more, doing less. By focusing on how you curate these areas in your business, it's going to make a significant impact. And again, I can't reiterate how important it is to share that the trends in the subject matter consulting and coaching spaces have completely changed. And there is an open pathway for people like you that maybe you haven't hit the financial mark that you really want to hit, or maybe you have found trouble keeping up with the Joneses. This is your year. It's your year to be very specific and true to yourself, your business, your area of expertise, and build marketing strategies, offers, and relationships that are actually going to get you there. And I want to hear about it as you go along. So thank you so much for listening to this show. This has been episode number 313. You can find all of the show notes and everything we talked about by going to sweetlifeco.com and clicking on the podcast. And of course, if you ever want to work with us, we have clients all over the world, and I would love to pour into you personally as well. All right. You guys have an awesome first week of the year, and I will talk to you soon.